Welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to be going over The Promised Neverland. It is also from this new season, and uh, I'm sorry if I either woke or sound like I just got done crying. I got a little emotional during the Rising of the Shield Heroes new episode, and I just had to cut a very potent onion just now for later tonight. So anyways, we're putting on the review hats. Uh, it, it is mandatory. There is no debate debating it, you know, as they say, no master debating. Uh, so anyways, yeah, The Promised Neverland. It's a very happy anime at first. The When you first start watching it, it uh, it's very colorful, very vibrant. It's, there's just tons of kids, they're smiling, it's set at an orphanage, which usually you would think, oh, that'd be kind of sad, but the kids are very happy. It's a, The overseer of the orphanage is just nicknamed Mama, Mom, and she's a, she seems like a very kind woman. She takes great care of these children, and they are given tests, they are given allotted playtime, they're taught responsibilities and required to alternate what they do throughout the house during the week. So throughout the first episode, you see plenty of the happiness, plenty of the children. You're introduced to all the great aspects of this orphanage. And honestly, when I first started watching it, it seemed like it'd be a great little, you know, happy slice of life anime to start off with. Unfortunately, it, t it does take a very dark turn. Um, I can't really spoil it, because that really is the whole surprise of the first episode. But, um... I'll just go ahead and show you this little clip of a child's horrified face to show you just how horrible it is based on their reactions. <laughs> so because the children find out this horrible thing, they have to devise a plan to kind of get around this. And I forgot to mention that there are three children in particular at this orphanage that score 100% on every single test. They are miles ahead of the other children in terms of intelligence and physical capabilities. And they all have their kind of roles between the three of them, like the tactician, the strategist, and the kind of uh, compassionate leader. So as the leaders of the children are kind of keeping to themselves about this dark secret, they're trying to devise a plan to help deal with this horrible twist of events that they have not been exposed to their entire lives. But during this, the mom becomes suspicious of the children because she is aware of what's going on. She is involved in the horrible plot twist that happens in the show. Again, I can't tell you what it is because I want to keep it a secret for those of you that want to watch this for yourselves. But the, the mom is very intelligent. She catches on that something is wrong. Some The children, some of them don't seem to be acting quite normal, but again, she's not 100% sure on who. So throughout the next two episodes after the very first one, you kind of see these mind games going on between the three children and the mother, and they even bring in more adversities for the children that complicate things very heavily for the children that are trying to make a plan and I can't really go into much more detail again because one I don't want to spoil it and two the show hasn't been out long enough to tell me exactly where they're going with this it's it's clear what the objective of the children is and it's clear what the issue is and the twist adds a whole other element to this world that just makes everything horrible for the children. It makes the prospects of their future just really dark, really grim, and just kind of hard to work around. But beyond that, the children haven't really done too much yet. It's been mostly planning so far, so I can't say much more, unfortunately. I'm sorry if this seemed a little weak in the whole going over the story region but uh, I guess to summarize it's happy at first bright colors seems very happy-go-lucky and then takes a very dark turn which really made me very interested in it so without further ado I'm gonna give it my little first impressions rating and I should have been more specific about how I'm gonna rate these things based on first impressions a 5 is going to be a kind of highly recommended while a 1 would be not recommended at all 
So, and a three would be, it's a good show, but it's it's not good, it's not great, uh, but it's also not bad. So a three would be, check it out if you think it sounds cool for you. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give the show another five out of five. Uh, there are gonna be shows that aren't gonna get fives out of fives in this review series I'm doing, but I just wanted to be clear that that is how my ratings are working. Five is highly recommended, one is not recommended at all, and then you can kind of fill in the blanks in between. I think if you're really into mystery and kind of mental gymnastics, that's that's not the best way to put it. But if you're into that kind of stuff, I think this show is for you. If you want uh, just a happy ending, while we haven't seen any bad endings so far, I do not think this is the show you want to watch. The Promised Neverland, I do not feel is going to have any happy endings in it for most of those involved. So yeah, I know this might have felt kind of rushed. I couldn't go off of too much for the show, but I hope you all enjoyed and please leave your feedback and comments in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Pornhub. Goodbye.